Baltimore Ravens offensive line coach Joe DeLessandris dies at age 70. Joe DeLessandris has died at the age of 70, the team announced on Sunday. Earlier this month, the team said DeLessandris had been hospitalized for an acute illness and would require treatment for an extended period. Ravens head coach John Harbaugh said at the time DeLessandris had surgery earlier in the summer and some complications had arisen from it. DeLessandris, who has been with the Ravens since 2017, coached for 45 years, including stops in the Canadian Football League, the World League and college football before coming to the NFL. He was an assistant with the Kansas City Chiefs, Buffalo Bills, and the then San Diego Chargers. Ahead of coming to Baltimore coach, Joe D was a man of integrity and a man of faith, Harbaugh said in a statement Sunday. He made us all better. He was our reader at Team Mass, and he was loved by all here. He was a great coach and a good man, the kind of person who you are honored to have as a friend. I admired him, loved him and am going to miss him because Joe D was a joy. Earlier this month, the Ravens hired George Warhop to take over D'Alessandri's role on an interim basis. Today is a sad day for the Baltimore Ravens, Ravens general manager Eric DaCosta said in a statement. Joe D was a rock, a great coach and a better person. He cared about the team deeply, exhibiting a relentless passion to excel while displaying genuine love for his players. I especially treasure my conversations with him, talking about football and life. I will always remember standing back with Joe on the practice field and watching him up close with his players. Coach was the consummate teacher and friend, and I will miss him deeply. Our thoughts and prayers go to Joe's daughters and family, and everyone touched by Joe's remarkable spirit. Sven Goran Eriksson, charismatic England coach, dies at 7-6 FILE photo. Former England manager Sven Goran Eriksson waves to fans after joining Notts County FC as director of football in Nottingham, Central England, July 22, 2009. Eriksson has described his next challenge as director of football at English League Two, fourth division club Notts County, as his toughest test yet. Reuters, Darren Staples, file photo Swedish football manager Sven Goran Eriksson, who became the first foreigner to lead the England national team, died on Monday at the age of 76, his agent said. Eriksson, a charismatic coach who led Swedish, Portuguese, and Italian clubs to major trophies in the 1980s and 1990s before taking on the England job in 2001, announced earlier this year that he was terminally ill with pancreatic cancer. His agent Bo Gustafsson told Reuters he had passed away Monday morning. Eriksson led England to quarterfinals of the 2002 and 2006 World Cups and at the 2004 European Championship, managing a golden generation of players, including David Beckham, Paul Scholes, Frank Lampard, Wayne Rooney and Steven Gerrard, Sven Goran Eriksson, England's first overseas manager and winner of multiple honors at club level, has died at the age of 76. Eriksson revealed in January 2024 that he had been diagnosed with terminal cancer and that he likely had, at best, about a year to live. He had stood down from his final job as sporting director at Karlstad in his native Sweden the previous February because of what he described at the time as health issues which are under investigation. Eriksson's death was confirmed by Bo Gustafsson, the former Lazio coach's agent in Sweden, via his UK PR agent, Dean Eldridge of Oporto Sports. Gustafsson said Eriksson had died on Monday morning at home, surrounded by family. The family asked that their wish to be able to mourn in privacy is respected and that they are not contacted, a statement said. Eriksson's managerial career spanned more than four decades, during which he won 18 trophies. It began in Sweden with Degafa's IF before he took charge of IFK Gotbog. Eriksson was 30 and barely known to the players of one of the country's leading clubs, but he was unfazed and proved a huge success leading Gotbog to the Swedish title and the UEFA Cup in 1982. That led to Eriksson being appointed manager of Benfica, and again, he proved a success, winning two league titles and reaching another UEFA Cup final in 1983. This time he